Hey, what's going on guys? Happy, uh, what day is it? I don't even know what day it is. Anyways, um, we're gonna go over air leaks here real quick. So really, really simple stuff, but not everybody totally understands it. So when we talk about air leaks um, in a two stroke, that's essentially air getting in um, into your intake system here, your crankcase, in your cylinder area so it's it's basically anywhere air is getting in or out of your motor um, between this point on within the system so um, common symptoms of air leaks are just running way too hot not being able to cool it down uh, lingering idle idle speed hanging real high um, there's a bunch of different issues idle kind of going up and down so that just means that air is getting in your engine without being uh, mixed with fuel essentially at the same time so um, the common, most common areas we see air leaks are the CT manifolds. We see them right in this area because they're, they're uh, pretty poor quality. If you file them down flat on a piece of glass or a piece of uh, slate or something, you can get this surface flat. But basically Honda Bond here and here works really well. Um, you don't, it's pretty uncommon you see it in here, but basically this area and your whole intake system, your seals, your plug. So. Um, anyways, so your whole intake system can, can cause, you can have an air leak there. Um, this seal here as well, you can have air leak. This engine, <clears throat> AF18, you can have air leak here. And this is a, a port that runs a fuel pump. So if you, AF16s aren't gonna have this, if you have an AF18, that's a source for an air leak as well. Your head gasket right here, your base gasket down here. That's why it's really important when you rebuild your engines to make sure this area is really, really clean, perfect. If you scuff it, you scratch it, you nick it with a, a razor blade or whatever, you leave a groove in there and that's a potential risk for an air leak. So I like using Permatex, copper Permatex, Permatex spray for here and then the intake and everything um, and the center, uh, I use Honda Bond. So again, this whole section as well, um, prone to air leaks, but Really, this is uncommon. If you're using RTV or some some stuff your grandpa, grandpappy had in his shed from the from the 80s in his golden days, um, you may have an air leak. If you use Honda Bond, I have never seen an air leak here um, if you use good stuff. So, and then this seal as well. So, what I do to find air leaks, everybody has different methods. Um, you may not like this, but um, some guys use carb cleaner. I'm not a big fan of that. I actually like taking um, propane in the, the little propane bottles. <clears throat> not lighting it, of course. Um, I learned this when I was doing my turbo car stuff, trying to find uh, leaks and whatnot. But I put the, the, the gas canister here and turn the valve on while the bike is running. And basically you're gonna see that idle change drastically if there's a leak. So um, also as well, your exhaust gasket. So um, take the propane and again, do this um, I guess uh, you're taking full liability for doing this. If you're smoking a cigarette or something and you light up propane and you blow up, that's, uh, that's your own fault because you weren't being safe. So pretty obvious. Um, I use Honda Bond in here as well. It's really rare to see this leak. If you have a good O-ring, it's not going to leak. So you can use propane, kind of put turn the, turn the valve on and go around this area, around the cylinder, take your shrouds off. And, and if you have an air leak, you're going to see that um, RPM change drastically when you get to an area um, that has a leak. So again, your seals, your two seals are a source for an air leak. Um, this isn't common on newer builds. It, I've seen it um, on older bikes that have been, um, got a lot of miles on them. That's pretty common because they dry up. Uh, let's see, yeah, so we'll just go back over it. These two spots here on the AF16, AF18, these two seals, these gaskets in between here, your base gasket, your head gasket. If you're using a, a Melosi type or Polini head gasket that has an O-ring, a lot of times when people go to put them on, that O-ring will fall out of position and it'll squish and then you get an air leak there. So I actually take a little bit of Honda Bond and just wipe it on the O-ring, put it in the recess and then slap it on so it stays in place. If you're running a flat, like a Taiwan style um, head gasket, just a stamped, you know, the, the stamped cut metal, uh, use some type of sealant as well. I would really advise against the red RTV um, that you use. Honda Bond and Permatex and are really, really good for this application. So, so the space here, use a good sealant, use a good gasket. Um, <clears throat> this guy here doesn't hurt using Honda Bond as well. Uh, thread lock both these studs. 
as well because these are really common to come loose and then you get an air leak because you're just having air going in and out here into the cylinders. So air leaks are what are gonna cause you to run lean, um, seize up, burn holes in your pistons and whatnot. So uh, anyways, that's just a quick overview of what air leaks are and where they come from and how they affect your engine. So it's pretty easy to check. It only takes a few minutes, but um, idle hanging if you're coming down for acceleration, uh, running lean, hot is, is um, a symptom of an air leak and just not being able to tune the bike because you can't ever tune. You can't tune your carburetor to, um, to match the amount of air that's coming in somewhere else, this section here. So there you have it. You guys got any more questions, feel free to comment um, about this. Oh, spark plug as well. This is probably tight. This is Carter's, uh, Carter's motor, but if you run a trail tech, uh, head temp gauge or another head temp gauge, there's the OEM washer underneath this, underneath this spark plug. There's an OEM washer. I'm sorry, not OEM, but it just comes on the spark plug, the crush washer. I take those off and then I put the ring over and then I put the spark plug down and I'm less likely to get air leaks up here. So a spark plug loose or strip thread, or if you've got the the crush ring and the copper ring together. A lot of times that's just uh, asking for an air leak up here. So, all right, I gotta go. I gotta get the phone.